Good afternoon, YouTube. Home Theater Joe here with your LG CX 3.23.15 firmware update. It is finally here. I've been waiting for this for a while. So, I've run some patterns, um, done a couple of different calibrations, and have some, some news for you how this has actually affected my panel. Uh, so then you can make an educated guess as to whether or not you will download this update. So right here, I've pulled up a, a Reddit form. This is the most comprehensive, detailed information I could find about uh, this current firmware update. Now, this is Reddit. So just like when you guys are listening to me, you know what I mean? You should take it with a grain of salt. Um, but there is quite a bit of information packed in here. And one quick point I'll make. As a home theater hobbyist or enthusiast, <clears throat> I've owned a lot of different displays from Sony to Samsung to Vizio, TCL, RCA. You know, I, I could probably name some more if I sat back and thought about it. The point is, as well as LG, um, LG does the most firmware updating. You can be pretty sure that whatever model you buy from LG, if it's an OLED, that you're going to have updates for four years. Now, that's far better than any other manufacturer that I have owned personally. And I'm talking Samsung Plasmas, Sony Bravias, you know, uh, first generation old Bravias, new Bravias, you know. Um, again, TCL Vizio. So... Firmware updates are more active with LG, and they tend to listen to their community a little bit. I'm not going to go through this whole list, all right? There's a lot of bug fixes. Um, some important stuff here about HDMI 4 and eARC, but mostly a lot of bug, bug fixes. Now, so anyway, you can find this information, but man, this is just a lot to scroll. But again, LG listening to the consumer, LG constantly working behind the scenes and here we have another firmware update let's switch on over here to Calman. now i accidentally pressed new um i accidentally pressed new calibration when i was done with that one so here's probably what i need to do is show you here's my folder here uh we'll go Calman here now this is the one i just did so not sure if you can see this text here but my T-Max, 672. Now, why is this important after update? Because prior to update, I was stuck at 646. Right now, we're in Dolby Vision. We are in cinema mode. Um, this was done today. And as you can see here, I'm up to 672. Now, how did I get back up this high? Well, that's interesting. I did it on a 5% window. Prior to that, I did a four, or excuse me, a 10% window, which only brought me at like 656, I believe. Let's see if I can find that, actually. Uh, is that on here? Uh, no, but we'll see what this one said. Let's open this and see what it says. Uh, 683, but this one is, yeah, 72. So this is prior. <laughs> this is actually a measurement prior to 3.23.06 or, or whatever it was. Um, 2.3, excuse me, 2.3. So that's where I was before. Again, that's a 10% uh, window. So I did cheat to gain up a little bit uh, on the display. Let's see if I can uh, move this just a little bit. Maybe you can see the TV a little better. I'll tell you what. Let's come back here. Um, so, one thing I noticed automatically uh, or immediately when I downloaded the firmware late last night before I went to bed was that here in this gallery mode, I'm sure you can see what's going on, that instantly had a little bit... Uh, you know, McKenna described it as like depth. You know, it looked a little punchier to me, and depth could be a, a great word for it. So, 
immediately I saw a difference in the display. So now I've run the measurements, the sweeps, the patterns. What did I find? So I'm still not back to 32306 three, levels. Whoa. Where I was at 683 nits. nits. Um, 3.23.23 brought me uh, down to 640 something. All right, now we're current with 3.23.15, and it has brought me up slightly. I mean, I'm talking probably 20 nits is what it's, what it's brought me up. Now, I always talk luminance because this panel is about 100 nits shy of the average C10 in peak luminance, all right? So for me, it's kind of a deal. But what I can say, or what I will say is that if I'm an LG CX owner, hopefully you guys saw my stuff on 3.23.23 or 06. Yeah, 06 because it was terrible and you didn't download that. Um, you know, I'm your test dummy. I downloaded this one. So look, to the eye, yes, it seemed to help a little bit. To the measurements, for sure, we can we can squeeze another 20 minutes nits out of the out of the display. Um, when I read through the bug fixes, nothing really major, but we we do deal with some HDMI switching and eARC issues. So, listen, I always have great connectivity with the display. I don't really have problems with that. Uh, maybe some some other people do, but LG known for very good connectivity and the fact that they're still working on H ports HDMI 4, um, the, the HDMI 3, I think it's 3, no it's 2 which is the eARC or maybe it's 3, they're still working on the eARC, they're still working on HDMI ports, they're really trying to you know get it right so thank you LG for that. Um, let me be clear, this update I don't believe will hurt your display. It can only possibly help. Having said that, I'm just a guy talking to my cell phone, so you know the deal. But as I sit here, home theater Joe, I'm going to say, go ahead and update this one, man. I, I don't see an issue with it. I don't see a problem. It hasn't, I haven't seen any screwy stuff since I updated uh, the TV. The display has run just fine, and I am squeezing just a couple more nits out of it um having said that the depth looked maybe a little better but listen i've been calibrating for the last couple of days trying to figure stuff out um still not getting where i want to be but uh while i'm thinking about uh ninja kin av uh, you need to check this guy. He knows more about calibrating LG OLED displays. He's forgotten more about calibrating LG OLED displays than I'll ever learn. Um, this guy really knows the deal. He's great information all around, so you should probably check his channel out. Um, he's a big help when it comes to all this stuff. Anyway, again, and for the last time, I think it's safe. Okay to download this one, fellas, so go ahead and have at it. Um, yeah, everything seems to be good from my end, so take that with a grain of salt and do what you will with it. Um, I want to, uh, encourage questions and comments down below. Um, please let me know how it's working for you guys. And, uh, as always, thank you for listening. Be good. Be safe. Boom.